YouTubers, here I am renting a motorbike in Cebu City so I can go to Oslov and watch the whale sharks. My ultimate goal, to get to Kawasan Falls. This will be a three, four day adventure. Let's get into it. Yeah, just the one. It's perfect, thank you. So, if you're wondering where I am, I've just checked out of my hotel. I've got my bag here. This is the only bag I'm bringing. All the other bags are being left at the hotel. Two big duffel bags being left at the hotel for roughly three days. Now, I've got a few shirts, some underwear, and all the rest in here. The only problem is I'm only bringing my Birkenstocks, so no shoes. Is that gonna be a problem? We'll find out, but I'm packing light for a few days, which I'm happy to do. Currently in Cebu City right now, just grabbing a coffee. We're about to hire this motorbike and get on the road and start journeying to Marbal. All right, this one got triple caffeine in it. Let's see how it goes. We're here at Rental Motorbike Services, Cebu. You come in and they got all sorts of options, right? Hello, I'm just doing some vlogs. <laughs> and here they all are on the wall. Maybe and me, I've asked for the cheapest, which is this one here for 500 pesos a day, which is about 13 Australian dollars, 10 US dollars. Oh, no. All right, I officially have my bag, my bike, everything is strapped together. I hooked my bag in there, should be nice and safe. Just struggling with some foot room. That's my only problem so far. Let's not waste any time. So after about 10 minutes, by the way, I'm wearing this because of the pollution. All the exhausts are like really dirty in Asia. So you sort of want to cover up. You'll see on my phone. We just got to go straight. There's the bridge. They call it a skyway here. So there's the skyway and then we just follow that and that'll direct us like pretty much straight to Oslo. Once we get on that skyway, we'll be on a road that pretty much follows the beach all the way to where we need to go. Got about three hours, 100 kilometers of driving ahead. Honestly, at this point, my only concern is we see a sign that says no motorbikes on the expressway. busy I'm waiting for the traffic to die down so I can pull up have something to eat without having to worry about getting behind but it's just been like this the whole time I've been swerving I was expecting a nice smooth cruisy drive it's gonna take a while for this traffic to open up finally the roads have opened up and we are on the beach I can smell the salt water this is the best part about the Philippines Riding alongside the beach where the air's fresh, just looking at the local provinces and passing through traffic on a motorbike. It's a nation, this is just a stop along the way. Quick look at my dash. You'll see I'm below half on fuel. So I'll stop, get some fuel pretty soon when it gets to about one quarter. There's fuel stations everywhere, so I don't need a rush. So I'm just here with these gentlemen. Say hello, boys. Hi. And I've just pulled over, asked if I can fly the drone. They have no problem with it. So gonna give you guys a bird's eye right now. Super, super close to the beach, as you can see, and not too much traffic. It smells beautiful as well. So as you can see, nothing but beaches to my left. You, I talked to those boys, they said, Oslo's a long way few hours, two to three hours on the motorbike. Here we are, another stop. Just looking at this local village here. Look at the drone footage there. We're getting some bird's eye, some really nice places here. I've got to make stops along the way. We're not in a great enough rush to miss out on these filming opportunities. This is such a local area right here on the beach in the Philippines. These guys are just reeling in a kite that I almost collided with. So they're having their own fun. This is beautiful. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. <laughs> I'm Adam. Adam. What are your names? Gwen. Gwen. What are you flying a kite? Oh. What What's the uh, name? Hello. Hi. What are you eating? 
Is this your village? Yes. Ah. What's the name of this village? Um, the Magayan. Oh, yeah. Is that your goat over there? Is your goat? Okay. Take the motorbike up there. Wow, look at the kite up there. Hi, friend. Hello, mate. Hello. Are you, are you all, all family? One family? Yeah. Everyone, one family? Yes. And you all live in what, that house? No. All of you or different? No. Ah. So there's the house. Look at this dog here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm vlogging the Philippines at the moment. And uh, I like... It. I'm from Australia. So I liked the uh, the farm here, so I thought I'd get the drone footage because it's, it's a very nice farm. So is that your farm or is that someone else's? Someone else. Someone else. But your goat though, is it your goat? The goat? Is that yours? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one your goat? No. Ah, neighbor's goat. From my neighbor. Neighbor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I have a long way to go. I've got to go to Oslo. Oh, okay. Yeah, long way. So thank you, everyone. Bye bye. bye. We've pulled up to a supermarket. I'm going to grab a drink with some calories. Super Metro. Yes, we're still on that road. A little distance from the beach now. There's a little bit of a gap. But we need to refuel just for a minute. Check this shit out. Sorry, mate. Yeah, the first supermarket I've been in that's not SM, owned by that one company. So we're only grabbing a drink and a snack and we're getting back out of here. Check out all the stalls and stuff here. It's a bit of a food court, really. Man. I'll let you know how I go. This one stood out to me. Thirsty with a question mark. Definitely thirsty. So we're just going to have the smoothie for now, snack, and when we get there, we'll have a massive dinner. So you're going to be with me the whole ride. We're just getting a mango smoothie and we're going to keep powering on. Notice I've had to change into a t-shirt as well, just because my shoulders were getting burnt. So this is one of the ingredients. What was this one, love? This is just normal milk. Yes. That's just milk. Yes. And what about this? Sugar. Sugar. White sugar. So we've got sugar, milk, and evaporated milk and then the mango gets added there's a process not just mango so I've got my smoothie shake here just gonna sit down for a while because you know you can't really drink and ride can you so I'm gonna get this one down got the largest size a few ingredients put in there you know they're cheeky like that but it's how you make money check this out you can get a massage in the mall all right, time to keep powering on. My phone's almost flat as well. Luckily for me, it's one road. Here in Asia, at least where I've been, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines, you sit here with your bike and then the man will come up to you, open your tank and you tell him how much you want. So you're about to see that. All the way, please. One hundred and fifty pesos. About to give the man the cash. The crazy part is, after all of this car car, that's the town. We are still in car car territory. It's taken forever to pass through. It's so spread out. I'm starting to see car car as more of a section of the road rather than a town. The floor's extremely wet and the water stinks. Alright, we're here. I can't even be stuffed taking off my helmet because we're only coming in to see the menu. Hello, sir. Alright, oh, this is crazy. So, McDonald's with fried chicken. Hello, just, just looking at the menu, thank you. Got all your burgers there, crispy fish fillet. They sell spaghetti. Chicken nuggets, chicken drumsticks. We need those back in Australia because we don't get any of those. They do have fries, mushroom pepper steak. So they sell steak here. Pretty wild. It's completely different. Hello. 
Hello, McDonald's staff, so friendly. What a good look on the franchise. It's interesting seeing Western restaurants here in Asia. Thank you, sir. And uh, comparing it to back home. What up, man? Check this out, I just pulled in to get some water. And they're using that machine to suck all the water out of the air conditioning. Hello. It's crazy. But yeah, we're just getting some fluids in. We seem to be in a new town now. Sibonga. Currently in Sibonga. This is uh, pretty different. A lot of bright colors in this town. I'm liking it. Check out how clean all the front yards are. Check out this house right here. They're the typical buses that the tourists are catching to go see the whale sharks. Air conditioned, you get your shade. Hello! So happy. Slowly making our way to Oslo. We've lost a lot of sunlight and it's not very populated here. Not many houses and stuff as you can see. It really is a whole different experience when you lose sunlight. It just seems foggy and dull now, like no energy. G-A-O We've just pulled up This is not the destination, this is just a stop along the way Sorry, sorry, the face. Wow. Here we go, right on the sand. A lot of dog security there. Are you fishing? Yeah. Fishing. Let me take this stupid helmet off. What fish are you fishing for? What's the name of the fish? Uh, small fish in uh, the name of Camaro. 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 Okay, so you're looking for them. Do you have any? Or not yet, out there? Yeah. yeah. Mean, uh, uh, deep. Deep. Deep water. Deep water. Yeah, yeah. Too shallow. Very nice. First taste on a Filipino beach since I've been here, which is absolutely absurd because I've been here for over a month now. Hello. Hello. Hello, boys. Now, this is when we started reaching farming territory. So a lot of flat land and green grass as well, out to the right and out to the left. It's just everywhere. If you're wondering why I'm wearing jeans in the Philippines, it's because I don't want my legs to get burnt on the motorbike. It's the worst feeling having burnt thighs. It's funny, whenever you see a police officer in the Philippines, they always have their lights on. You know, the flashing lights. I think it's time to make another stop. There's a market back there. I did go past it, but we're gonna check it out and find out where we are. Blue Pot Family Resort, that way. That actually looks like a wicked place to stay. We're in Dulaghetti, Cebu. This looks so beautiful. Let's go for a look. 
we're gonna check out this random resort. Who knows, maybe one day one of you will stay here. Check that out. So much green. Wow, look at these houses. There's a creek in the middle. Blue pot. Let's go check out the resort. There it is. I'm not actually going to go in there. Here we are, just checking out this place. Now I'm looking around, I don't really want to eat any food. So we'll sort of just come in and have a look. But this is Du Laghetti, right? Du Laghetti? Du Laghetti. Du Laghetti, okay. Yeah, so this is Du Laghetti. How, how far to Oslo? Almost three hours. Three hours? Yeah. To Oslo? Yeah. What? Oslo. That way? Oslo? Two hours. Ah, uh, no worries. Yeah, that's long. Huh? Very far. Oslo? I thought it was close. It looks like I got a lot longer to go. So worst case scenario, I might need to stay somewhere along the way and not make it to Oslo, which will suck, but you might have to do it because I don't want to ride at night time, you know. According to my map, they said three hours. According to my map, Apple map, one hour to go and it's almost 4 p.m. So I've got to get a move on because I'll be able to make it at not by night time if I keep moving. So not going to be pulling up too much more. I'm going to get there. Time is the enemy. running around so I can't go too fast I'm a little bit limited wow look at all that sand that is crazy I don't know what town we're in sorry someone's gonna have to pause the video I'm gonna have a look through it if, if I couldn't find it and this has been posted without writing right here of what town name this is you are leaving Atta Bay Atta Bay. Close enough. We have hit. Sorry I've always got that on. It's almost a bit rude to my viewers. Hello. We have hit Baojun. Baojun. This is probably the most beautiful town I've seen yet. Right on the ocean. I don't think we've got far to go before Oslo. So the whale sharks are 11 kilometers away from Oslo. We're gonna stay in Oslo tonight and get up really early tomorrow and go to the whale sharks. So we're gonna find a hotel to stay in, hook up to some Wi-Fi and start editing. Something about fogging. Is that to keep away mosquitoes? It smells all right. There was like anti-mosquito signs on the wall and it said fogging, support fogging. Just like that. Oslo followed the signs. Seaside Inn. See how much the pricing is. Hello, how are you? I wasn't sure if those were renovations, but it turns out they're not. So, you can take this thing off. Hey mate. Ooh. Hello. It's pretty dope. So how far is the whale sharks from here? Ten kilometer? Seven to eight kilometers. Oh that's alright. Yeah yeah. 
Okay. Uh, 15 minutes, right? 15 to, minutes? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Early morning. Early morning. Yeah. Extra early if you've got to yeah. travel before, because, right? Uh, there's a queue. Queue, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they open at 6. That's right, yeah. So they open at 6.30, right? Get there 3 a.m. Probably. What? Because people right now having their vacation, so... Is that busy? Yeah. Wow, did you hear that? 3 a.m. wake up, apparently. Be there at 3 a.m. Yes, sir. See, I'm asking questions, hoping you'll say no. Damn. Still looking around. Just giving you a look at some of the prices. 34 Australian, 26 Australian. Um, what do we got here? Yeah, 64, 132, 48. I'll see this one is actually on there coincidentally and it's 34 Australian which doesn't sound that bad and I'm right in front of it. Sasjaz Resort Oslo which is literally right here. This is the one. It's right on the beach. It doesn't look that great from here but trust me when we get out there it's going to look freaking wicked. A little more than what I wanted to spend but we're on the beach. Like you're literally cliff hanging over the beach and the whale sharks are just up there. Right we're all booked in. Quick look around at where we are. We're gonna check in. I'm gonna go get some food pretty soon. Welcome along. Here we go. A mirror on a door, it's pretty cool. Ah, this is nice. They got the whale sharks there in the pool. G'day. No, it's alright, it's all good. So I've just booked in here and now they're saying there's no rooms left. It was on a go to, I paid the money, everything. This day just won't end. It's not a bad thing though. One day we'll be out of days as humans, so you've yeah. got to stay grateful. Alright ladies, where are we going? Yeah, we'll be Jerome if you like. Okay, keep the motorbike here. Oh, we're just walking. So this we're going to a neighbour's place, a new room. And she's, she's asking and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's checking if I like it. She's like, go see if you like it. That gives me the impression that... But anyway, we're gonna go for a look. This is improvising at its finest. Oh, this is so nice. I actually like this better. It's uh, more luxury. This is it. Now, this is fine, ladies. So, is there Wi-Fi here? Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi here. Oh, okay. Whereabouts is the Wi-Fi? At the back. Where's the Wi-Fi? Sorry? Wi-Fi goes At the back of the room. Yeah, whereabouts? Like... No, this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the back of the room. She was meant to say at the back of the door. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, thank you. She's giving me the key. I thought something was missing. I was like, hang on, am I ready? Uh, you know, sometimes you get a bit comfortable when you're on the road. <clears throat> Start stopping a bit too much, pulling the drone out, whatever I was doing, talking to locals. And then you check, check the time and time flew past and you're in a rush. So that does happen. Next time on the road, for example, when I leave here, I'm gonna get up really early. I'm gonna start doing that so then I can get heaps more drone footage for you guys and all the rest. But for now, I might chuck this TV on. I'm gonna definitely have a shower, feel a little bit dirty and muggy from all the riding. Can you imagine the stitch up if he said that and I get up at 3 a.m., get there, no one's there, no line up, no nothing, if he's just yarning. Hopefully he's a man of truth and he's being dead set about holiday season, there's gonna be a massive line. Then we're gonna have to get up early. But anyway, that was, uh, that was Cebu to Oslob. We made it, baby. Over and out.